is one week away, and it's the time of year we both honor and mourn those who died serving our country. Today, one group has gotten a jump start to honoring our veterans by visiting graves across rural cemeteries. Our Vasi Prokos caught up with the volunteers today on the gifts they have brought for them. Since 2015, a Madison County group called Flags for Veterans have gone out every year to show their respect for veterans buried throughout the bluegrass. Today, I got a chance to visit them in the town of Waco at Flatwood Cemetery to see them honor this tradition once more. A moment of silence. It's to remember the sacrifices that men and women have given our country. For about the last six weeks, Flag for Veterans, a group of patriotic citizens, have been placing American flags at veterans' graves across their hometown in Madison County. They are our heroes. They deserve much, much more than a fabric flag on Memorial Day. Today, out of the 400 cemeteries known in Madison County, volunteers came out today to help place flags at one of the largest ones, Flatwood Cemetery. I think it's a very patriotic thing to do to show our support for our country and for our veterans who served. And I think it's good for our community to see that people still care and to show that we love our country and we care for those who support and protect us. Overall, this group covers more ground than what you would expect. Organizers say they go from 90 to 100 cemeteries every year and place over a thousand flags at veterans' graves. We go across all of Madison County. We decorate veterans' graves all the way from the American Revolution up to the war on terror, Iraq and Afghanistan. For volunteers like Philip Seifert, these flags are an opportunity to pay tribute on behalf of those who cannot come to honor their family members. For Andrea Hunt, she participates for another reason. This is a good way to remember the names of those who have fallen or have passed away. Now, their goal is to spread the word and continue this tradition. People believe in the project, and we're going to honor them as long as we can. The trail continues. If you'd like to volunteer this Friday, the group will be going to Maple Grove Cemetery. To link up with Flags for Veterans, you can head over to our website at fox56news.com for more information. Danielle, 